Welcome to Vape Brothers. Let's get, get some of this vapor back. Uh, Keegan's back. He's back from whatever he was doing. I didn't say anything in the last video, so he was doing something and I can't remember. But today, we are going to look at my IVP 4S. Now, this is the latest iteration of the Pioneer for You uh, line of vaporizers. And <clears throat> a lot of you know, or those of you who don't know, Pioneer for You and Sigeli are like one of the top in variable voltage, variable wattage kind of devices. Um, on top of that, um, they just had a they had a misstep with the four. So with the four, they had a nine volt charging port that went right there, and it wasn't a good charging port. Um, juice would leak in; it would short out. Um, they had a piece of tape just holding it there, kind of like keeping it from grounding out. And it was just horrible. So um, think of this as if you have an iPhone, this is from the iPhone 4 to the 4S, except this one doesn't talk to me. But other than that, you know, it's made of, um, you got a grip here. Like this is your battery panel and your grip. Um, it's like a rubberized silicone. It's a really nice grip. Um, a lot of people before were complaining about it. And I, I mean, it's not coming off. A lot of people said that, oh, it just fucking comes off. No, it... It takes a little bit of strength, which I like, but, you know, you can play around with it. I like to fidget sometimes, but other than that, you know, it has a really nice display. It fits with all of my mods as a spring-loaded 510 connection. I think it's a copper one down in there. Um, it has a bunch of battery protection things. I'll just put up the specs real quick. Alright, so there you go. Those are the specs of it. Um, and then we're going to dive down close just to look at the menu. We're going to look at that 510 pin a little bit more. Um, you are going to notice on my grip that I, it did take off my, uh, my vape store sticker just so I could do this review. But, uh, yeah, we're going to dive down and we're going to look at it real close. So, guys, this is the, you know, the IVP. It's pretty good. I mean, I'm just going to turn it around here real quick, just nice and slow. And the mod that I have on here is a Mutation V1. You know, it's a pretty good mod. I like it. And I think I got some Claptons in there. Yeah, I got some Claptons. So I'm just going to put that right back on. So I'm going to turn it off real quick off screen. Alright. So when you turn this thing on, you hit the fire button one, two, three, four, five times. You get the Pioneer for You logo. Then the IVP 4S. And then when you hit that fire button, you get the basic uh, layout of it. You got your wattage, you got your ohms, you got your voltage, you got your battery power. My battery power is not really the best right now, but it's all right. But five more clicks put you into this, put you into the menu. So you got system. I know it's kind of hard to read that, but you got system. Then you hit the fire button to move it. You got mode, which I'm in power right now because I got Canthal Clapton's. And then you got exit mode. So if you want to go into your jewel mode, you simply hit right or left on these two. Then you get into jewel mode, then you hit the fire button one more time. And you can change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit, you know, if you're metric or American, like we are. So I'm going to go Fahrenheit, and then I have mine set at 527. I know that's really hard to read, but it's 527, trust me. And then you hit the fire button one more time and it asks you what kind of coil you want to do. Mine says Ni200 or titanium. And if I was um, <clears throat> vaping in temperature control, I would do uh, nickel. So then you hit that, then you would go to exit, then it says 50 joules, 3 1.7 volts, and then it still has my battery power, but I'm going to quickly switch it back to... Oh, shit, I just turned it off. Well, I'll turn it back on real quick. Switch it back on. I mean, it's really easy to use. I mean, it's a really simple mod to use. Um, you know, five clicks for everything makes a really good, um, and, you know, it makes a, a good, you know, it makes a really good, easy, simple thing. All right, we're going to take it back to FaceTime. 
Alright, so that was the IVP up close and personal. I mean, it's a really nice mod to use. I mean, all my device, all my uh, atomizers, all my tanks, his tanks, they, they've all worked on it. So it's a really good mod. Um, currently, I have Claptons in here, like I said, down up close. And <clears throat> I have Claptons, and I built them myself, and I hit them at a tw 120 watts, and it's just a really big cloud. So... I mean, I'm getting good, good clouds off of it. Anything you like to add, Keaton? I think you nailed it. And you think I nailed it? You didn't talk at all. I'm not a talk good person. All right. Well, that's all we really have for today. Next week, though, next week we got that smoke tech tank. Oh, that's gonna be a good review. So, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for coming back, and please subscribe. Um, if you like our content, you know, that's that's just what you do. Just subscribe, like, comment, you know, all that fun stuff. But other than that, we'll see you guys next week.